Yo, hello. Working on fixing some bugs. Still. Um, just the game's getting just smoother and smoother and smoother here. Lots of bug fixes. These are pretty important. Some of them are not as important, but uh, they're more like detail-oriented things. Like, like Vel could just a second ago she could die, and then you could go off screen, and she would unswoon on the next screen. So little things like that, just little things that make that things that kind of break the fourth wall, stop breaking the fourth wall, and it it makes the whole experience a little bit more magical. Um, so what I'm doing first is confirming a bug fix. Actually, I had this one um, bug fix where you would get close to a secret wall and it would start to become semi-transparent even though you hadn't crossed the, the threshold yet. Like, there's a secret tile I can step on right here. And then a wall I can walk through right there. But as you can see, as you get really, as you get close to it, it gets semi-transparent. That's okay, because this is one of these um, secret walkable paths like that. But then there's this one right here. Shoot, we need to go a different way. But you can see what I mean. There's a there's a there's a gap that appears here, and then this bit right here. Once you're over here, this should never become transparent. So I'm just making sure I didn't break that. Where there's two types of secrets kind of going on at the same time. I hope I hope this latest bug fix didn't break that. I don't think it did. Let's check it out. So. <laughs> Yeah, good. You can still step on these. And if I were to go into God mode and even be inside this wall, see, there's no semi-transparency at all. Um, but you can set a bomb. Okay, good. So that did not get broken. I'm just glad. Great. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Um, okay, the one thing I'm going to start working on now, next, is this one. I'm going to add a blink gap inside the tower entrance. Um, because certain world seeds, namely the Vel world seeds, you start with Vel, which means you can enter the tower immediately, and it's freaking damn hard to try and beat the tower with only three hearts and just the sword or something like that. It's freaking almost, I think it's impossible as a player right now, but I know that some speedrunners at some point will find a way to beat bosses fast, so I kind of want to make it so there's no possible way to cheese the world seeds Vel. And I'm just going to make it so there's a blink gap inside the tower entrance. So basically, you can't just walk straight into the tower and straight to the final boss in those world seeds. You'll have to at least get the blink up to level 2 out of 3. So you can go to the first dungeon and get the first blink, and then you'll need to purchase the second blink. Or find the, th or go to the Songbringer dungeon and get the other blink. So there's, a, there's two ways to do it, multiple ways to get through it. But, but basically, that'll make it so you have to have at least explored the world a little bit in order to to beat the game so that is tower is its entrance I mean area patterns and it's like entrance U not U2 not U3 uh, which one is that oh we'll just go into the tower and figure it out Okay, here it is. Or, oh, you it is you two A. Eh? 
All right, so U2A, if it is style car T for the tower, or underground and all that, do a, some blocks, do a blocks wrecked across the middle. I guess we could do a V3I. So yeah, P dot X minus, I don't know, five is gonna be enough. P dot Y, K tile none, or sky. So that, we'll just add a straight up line in the middle so there you have to use the blink to get over it. Okay, now I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting by adding, by taking away a few more blocks from the sides and stuff. That was one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's three on each side. Do another rect um, p dot x minus I guess that's three p dot x minus three p dot y minus two p dot y plus one. I'm gonna kind of stagger these a little bit. These are all going to be the plus X's. All right, let's check that out. This is a pretty simple way to solve this problem. I thought about adding a kilobomb wall, but that's just more complicated. The player would have to go get the kill. Well, normally you have to have the kilobombs to get into the tower anyway, so that's why it kind of made sense. But it's just way more, way more involved. Okay, that's good, but it's a, I want a little more. On the sides, like we could go all the way down to Minus a lot. And this, these two on the sides. Actually, we don't even need this one anymore. Um, oh, wait. No, yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, yeah, these two, x minus one. Both of these I only want to be, shoot, I guess we don't want either of these. Ah, get rid of those.
Oh. There's no more gap anymore. Oh, the third one's not even there. Oh. Wait, uh, okay, so these were necessary. And these aren't? <clears throat> right, okay, that's not even necessary. All right, so the ones on the sides, I want this to be like the same gap there. And a big old gap to the, on these twos. No. Activity monitor. Dude, every time. Oh wait, it's okay. Sort of. You shave off a little more on these sides too. Yeah, I think I need to ice pack for the computer today. This is too janky. Damn. <laughs> it's like crackling. I guess we could take away that one too, right here. Bleed twice.
Yeah, I don't like it that as much for some reason. I guess that'll do. Alright, cool. All right, let's start with some easier ones. Uh, the Murmuroth Tease event. This can repeat if you run off the screen fast enough. So I'm just gonna make it so the exits are locked until this event finishes. I think you can lock exits with the AI. The Ah, uh, Fear Boss does that. There it is. Unlock exits, I think, in lock exits. Right, cool. We got lock and unlock exits. All right, well, that just means that the Acid Boss Tease event, when it happens, initial mode timer begin. We need to do this lock exits, and then as soon as it dies, it removes itself, position Z visible. Here's where we unlock the exits. All right, now we just go to that position. Here we go. Right there, zero, zero, 0066. to start off the screen? No? Oh, did I already beat the boss? That's probably what it is. One, two, three, four, five? No, shoot, I didn't beat the boss. Oh, here, there's a story element for it. Okay, story element happens, I can't run off, good. Now I can, if I come back, story element should be all completed, I couldn't, good, good, good. Let's try that again, this time trying to walk through the boss doors. Good. I can't walk through that, but I can. Good, good, good. Okay, good, that's great. That's all I need. Simple bog, boss fig, or bug fix there. That one. 
Nermoroth can repeat if you run away fast enough. That was a fast one. All right, fans coming on screen. Weird. Wizard 10.5.0. This little issue. Fans, they walk on screen over these stairs, and I think that's what makes them walk all slow or something, and they just look weird. Wizard? Yeah. All right. I think I have to start at the area to the right, though. Yo, Noah Ney, what's up, man? I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> what? What happened to this? Did I spell that wrong? What? Oh, is it still um, Respect the Internet Day or something? Oh, yeah. It's weird. It's not showing it for me. <laughs> How you been, man? Yeah, right? Ten five zero, yeah, yeah, all good here. Getting ready to finish this game. Lots of changes, yeah. Good change, bad change. Wow, you left a job, found another one, got an apartment. Wow. Wow, you've been doing stuff, man. Hmm, so this is not the area. I must have wrote down the wrong the wrong world or the wrong um, location. Let me see if I can find it though. Is it this one? They had some stairs at the top, some fence on it. Yeah, I use Git. Actually, I use both. I use Git personally, but I use SVN to communicate with Double Eleven, my publisher, who's uh, who's doing the console parts and all that. So I have to use both of them. But luckily, they can um, they can coexist if you tell them both to ignore each other, and that way I don't have to sacrifice anything and lose any of my project's history or sacrifice the way I work. Like Git is now integral to the way I work. It's so important to how I work. And SVN just does not cut it. SVN is slow as hell. And think little things like trying to do a diff, it takes forever to talk to an SVN server and get a diff from it and stuff compared to a Git. So yeah, I can't I can't live without Git. But SVN, um, you know, you you can get him to kind of coexist just by telling them to ignore each other's files. And it actually kind of helps me to catch some bugs too. So it's actually kind of nice to have both because um, you know I'll check things into my Git repo and then I'll check it in again to the SVN repo and I'm like, oh wait, I, I forgot this one little thing, you know? So this kind of helps me to triple check because I'm already checking a lot when I do diffs. We gotta find this location where these fans were coming on the screen weird. I think if I go look for fans, there was zero zero zero. Yeah, what about yourself, man? Do you use do you use one of those?
Oh, it was fence and there was an entrance B. Oh man. Oh geez, sorry. Oh yeah, okay, so totally. Um I forgot to tell you this. I cuz I totally I have spaced. I didn't like I only emailed a couple people, but you don't need to do the translations anymore. Um yeah, so you don't have to worry about that anymore because basically um there's super duper strict technical requirements from Sony and Microsoft to get the game on um, PlayStation and Xbox. And so to adhere to those technical requirements, we have to have like super strict, like awesome translate translations. Like they, they'll check the translations. That could be a, That could be something that causes you to fail um, your approval and stuff like that for, for not only that, but like for um, age ratings even, like there's so much to it. So basically, Thank you so much for your translation and everything. Um, um, and and the guys from Double Eleven are now taking it over, and they're the ones kind of they're doing the the translations and stuff like that. And they used yours as a base, so thank you for your thank you for your contribution, man. Yeah, I emailed a couple people that I knew were doing translations, but I forgot about some of the people that I just hadn't heard from in a while. So I'm so sorry about that, but yeah. I should have told you, you don't have to do the translation anymore. Okay, so we need to kind of find a special case here. So I need a breakpoint. Or I guess a log statement will do. We need to know when there's a entrance B and um, fans. Cool, right on. Yeah, right, yeah. There we go. Faux entrance B. And then later it adds the foes. Yep. And now we can go if has bits. Flags. I think this does supposed to be flags. Yeah, flags. Has bits flags, K fo Yeah. Flag fo entrance B. And area has name. Man, I can't type today. Oh man. <laughs> it's hot as shit in here. I'm sweating. Okay, so that'll put a log statement wherever there's a faux entrance B and a fan. Because that's what I remember was the case with this one little weird bug where the, these guys came on the screen in a disorderly fashion. There's one at zero, zero, six, four, zero, or zero, zero, zero. Okay, it's not this one. 
It might not have even been this world seed. Oh wait, this this one might do. We have some stairs. We have fans. All right, cool. So we'll start to the right. Come on this screen so that the we start to the right so that the fans do their entrance on the top. Yes, yeah, it is. Coco Studio X has been fitting all my needs. Uh, I didn't have to work around very much, to tell you the truth. I did have to do some workarounds, of course. With, basically with any open source engine, you're gonna have to do some workarounds. Oh no, this... damn. It didn't work. They didn't do their weird entrance. Uh, maybe it was a different world seed. Yeah, what did I actually have to do to work around? For a long time I was working around their sound engine, the sound engine is just ugh. So I worked around and then later I was like, wait, I should just switch to FMOD so I can do procedural audio and all that. Yeah, they all just walked on the screen fine. Okay, it must not have been that. Well, if I can't find this, then I'm, I can't fix it, of course. Let's try some different worlds then. I think the location was 1050. Try Vel, Pineal, Buoyed, any of the world seeds I've been doing lately. Hmm. No. Well, maybe some of these. Maybe this has another. Uh, Try six seven zero. Um, well, that's the only one. It's like the stairs were a little long. Like maybe they were like, th yeah, this one ain't gonna do it either. Okay, well, let's try another world seed pineal. Definitely wasn't this one. This one's got one at nine zero zero nine two zero. Gosh, sometimes you find these bugs and you forget to write down the right. <laughs> Oh wait, hey, this has got stairs too. This one might work. This is like this only this it only happened on like this one area. Let's get them all to walk from the top. All right. Yep, they're looking okay. Okay, we'll try this other one. There's only one more world that I've played recently that I remember. Yeah, this one doesn't even have one them coming from the top. You, right? 
right? It's very specific. Well, you know what? They're better than the ones, at least they're better than the the bugs where you don't always reproduce it on every try. Those are the hardest ones where you're like, yep, well, this one bug happened uh, this one time, but I tried again and I couldn't get it to work. You know, those are the worst. But I've fixed a few of those recently. I've like miraculously fix some of those things just by looking at code. I'm like, okay, let me just do a little logic puzzle here and stare at this code until I finally figure out how it could possibly break and cause that to happen. And it actually worked a few times recently. <clears throat> there was, a, namely, it was the freaking hardest bug in the world, it seemed like. There was this bug where the input would sometimes, like very rarely, um, you would be like pressing, you're just playing the game, right, with the controller or with the keyboard, actually, either one of those, and all of a sudden, the character would keep on walking. And you're like, no, I just let go of that button. I let go of up. I'm not pressing up anymore, but he's still walking up. You know, like somehow the input for the, the button release didn't get registered. And I just, I had to look at the code and I was like, wait a minute, there is a situation where if, <laughs> if the player pressed and released a button within one sixtieth of a second, it would cause this bug to happen. <laughs> and luckily that was a, that was kind of an easy fix after I realized how it could possibly happen. Yeah, yeah, oh, right, yeah, input persistence. There's a word for that, oh, right, I forgot. You had that with SMML once? Yeah. It had nothing to, I, I was almost, I, that was what was so hard about it. I was like, I don't know whether this is inside the library I'm using for controller input or whether it's my input processing or what, but it was my input processing. No, I think that is a, I think that is a phrase, input persistence. Yeah, exactly. I've heard this before, I think. Feels familiar. I finally put an ice pack on my computer today, and it's helping a lot. I should put an ice pack on sunny days more often. Okay, it's not gonna be this one. Here's the last area. Well, I might just cross this bug off and like reopen it if I find it again. Yeah, there's all instances of the fans walking on screen all worked fine. And all those worlds, I'm just gonna cross this one off. Because that was wrong. Oh well, it was not that that bad of a bug anyways. All right, let's get this one done. Um, the leaderboard UI is out of line in some languages. So I'll do skip to menu. And open up the interfaces Steam. And we need a different language. Let's go to Japanese. That one. Oh, that's a race. <laughs> Which one? Uh, is this one leaderboard? Yeah, there it is. Leaderboard. Found it. Oh, we're not connecting to Steam.
Please don't make me enter my password. Again. Bah. Bah, I tell you. I guess I'll have to work on this one later. Okay, how about this? Can it hold to change volumes? You used to be able to hold a key to change the volumes, but not anymore. Let's find out why. It's in, uh, it's got to be in interface tick. Oh, here it is. Run. It's run button repeat. This is how it does it. It runs this button repeat um, code. Let's start with this. Oh, wait. Let's start with this. If I turn off input delay completely, always allow it to just change. Audio volume. Oh, it's just not holding at all. Like, I have to definitely let go of the button. Hmm, well, this is going to require Xcode. Debugging. This used to work. I'm pretty sure this was this is what needs to run. This run button repeat right here. This is where the bug will be fixed at, I think. Oh, and I'll need a special breakpoint. So if The ID is interfaces audio sound. I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah. My laptop's really nice and cool with that ice pack under it. Interface. Interface is. It is sound. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we'll set a breakpoint there. Once we get to the sound interface, and input, or yeah. Input, uh, shoot, I hate typing in Xcode. It's so slow, so non-modal. Input dot has button down. Why isn't any of the autocomplete working? I'm like, yay, for Vim, and then Vim's messing up. What would you do in Vim? Oh, it's is button down. Is buttoned. No. 
Reach is down. There we go. Button type. Ignore lock. Alright, so button type K, button. Right. K button right. Alright, so we're going to push, press the right button and ignore lock. All right, man. Good night. Have a good one. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Run it. We should hit this break point as soon as I press the right button on the sound interface. And then we'll get in and debug the run button repeat, figure out why it's not re repeating. Good. All right, we got the breakpoint. Now, is there an input delay? That would make sense. Is that an input delay? No, there's no input delay. Okay, good. So we're running the better button repeat anyways. Okay, so this button repeat thing, starting off with false on everything. What's up, Red Saint? Yes, they are actually. Um, they're better today. Um, for some reason, Game Show is not eating up all of the CPU today, so we're good. And I put, I actually put an ice pack under my computer, and that's helping. Yeah, see, Game Show is only using eighty percent of the CPU instead of one hundred and eighty. Yeah, man, how are you doing? Okay, it's now. Do we have any buttons down? Yeah. Are we repeating? No. Can release. Oh yeah. What's a button repeat delay? Yeah, cool man. Nice. How's the how's it coming along? Oh, so if start input time, what is that? Start input time matters a lot. This is zero. Of course, we're gonna have zero laps so far. What's this button repeat delay? Third of a second. And the repeat interval is 0.2 seconds. Okay, so there's start input time and last input time. Slowly but surely. Yeah, cool. Lots of the functionality generally mapped in your head. Cool. Great. That's good to hear. So at this point, we're not going to have any of those variables set. Those are all false. Because we haven't held it for very long. Okay, so key to all that is the start input time. And it's kind of something we have to run.
I mean, see the see the output of like live. So I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna do a little like. Uh, Show the elapsed. Okay, so if, if this works, like the start input time and the elapse is all working, then we should be getting that. Has elapsed. Oops. Yeah, we're totally getting elapsed and this is is working just fine. It's it's counting up and then it's counting up, it's counting up. Here, let's put this also in, like, show if it actually is triggering this, um, has elapsed. I guess this work this is probably affects all interfaces. Like you might not be able to even hold the down and up on the first screen. Is that true? Oh no, yeah, see this works here. Huh. Oh now we're not getting any oh, so we have to go into the game and do this. Might as well not skip. Oh, we're never getting hat. Wait, yeah, no, it is. Slow down time a lot. Yeah, it's it's occasionally getting that one. Need a little more time. One, 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 one. It's triggering. Oh, don't tell me it's actually been working the whole time. This function. So we'll show has elapsed and up, down, left, right.
Mm. Yeah, so it's flickering. It's definitely getting it. Uh, it's triggering some input there. Uh, so, okay, so this function is entirely not broken at all. This is not the part that was... This is not the droid I'm looking for. So this wasn't the droid either. Well, we might as well just keep it commented out though for the moment. Okay, is keyboard no, gear no. Oh. Who did this? If left, else if right. There we go. Oh, it's about time, man. Sweet. Okay, so up, down, input, you can hold. What else do we want to like? What else has some options? Yay! Fixed! Okay, I don't know if the guys at Double Eleven did this or not, so I'm gonna just put it, I'm gonna wrap this in some defines. This might be something they did as a bug fix for something I'm not aware of, so I don't wanna break their code. Or did, hmm, yeah, I guess it's fine. Okay, let's make sure this all works with all the code back to normal. Hey, yo, what's up? What's up, Fleur? Is it Fleur or Filler? Okay, there's a couple other things I did to debug all this. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. No need that. Just need this. We don't need that. That either. The world thing. Oh, it's Felipe. Cool, man. What's up? All right, let's get that compiled. What? Oh. There we go. Stop compiling. Start compiling again. There, now we're back to the, li the littlest diff we can do, which is just like that. Okay, let me write a little note.
Okay, now with all that in place, let's just make sure nothing is broken and everything works just the same, and we can hold to change left, right. And I'll test it in the game and I'll test it out of the game at the main menu. Well, so man, Songbringer is getting really close to being finished. Um, I'm actually pretty excited because I'll start to work on the soundtrack soon. Because now that now that most of the bugs are fixed, um, just the last little preparations, the soundtrack, the marketing, you know, only a few things left to do, and then Songbringer will be done, be out and done, and then there'll be a few updates. So I'll be working on Songbringer at least the rest of the year. Work on updates and stuff. Yeah, nice. We can hold. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Can you hold this too? Oh, you can. Let's see if that breaks. Good. It has a nice delay between changing those. So yeah, you can hold to change that now. That's good. That's how it used to be. I don't know what changed to make that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Can still hold to change this stuff. How about um? How about going to this menu? Yep, good. You can still hold to move around here. There's this weird bug. I haven't been able to figure this out, but if you sometimes, if you go on and off the Dell or Enter key, it'll turn all big. It's the weirdest thing. Apparently, it's not working now though. Oh well. So okay, that looks good. We can type world seeds. Everything's good. Good. Okay, I'm checking that in. You can hold the change volumes again. All right, maybe one more bug, and then I got to get some lunch. This one, the credits list is weird in German for some reason. So we'll do skip to ending. Um, and then let's go to the code for roll credits. There's just, there's just one line where it's um yeah it's separating out the long lines here we go so like it, it takes these long backer lines oh we gotta switch to german Okay, so it's totally okay that it separates out those backer lines, but then when it's looping over every line, this is probably where it is, where it's like it's positioning it wrong. Okay, and I'm gonna have to see it once. It might be the Y pause, it might be the X pause. It works in English, but I think because the string itself is so long, In German, I think that's what's causing it to bounce it down to the next line or something. We gotta really speed up time so we can get to it. Oh, I must have I missed it already. 
shoot. I think it was at the beginning of the list. Yeah, oh, no way. Okay, so it was just the last one. I'm running it one more time to make sure there wasn't any at the beginning of that list. Oh, yeah, it does. There's two problems. Okay, so... Huh. So that this the it wasn't gold. There's two problems. The last backer wasn't gold. Nathan Tibbetts is supposed to be gold here. And then yeah, the beginning of this kind of starts off weird, like it's It might be, might be that there's too many lines. Yeah, I wonder what. Backer. I mean, the backer lines are parsed. So I don't know how that would be. How could that be any different? Yeah, I think it's this right here. If this were two, I think it would work in German. There's like might be one extra line added to the beginning or the end or something. Why is it running? Oh, I guess I guess it could be wrapping a line too. Yeah, oh cool. That just fixed that bug like crazy good.
I got all these alphabetized recently. Yeah, cool. It fixed all that. Nice. Now let's see if it, that breaks it in English. And if so, we'll need to find some better way. Hmm. Damn. Okay, so that breaks it for English. Maybe there should be two lines. Uh, that would probably like break it again or something else. If there were two blank lines in between. Okay, so we gotta figure out why there needs to be two lines for the Oh, it didn't, it didn't break the end. <sighs> hmm. So what is credits lines? Oh, that's the beginning. What's up, Biter Kid? Huh. What if the what if the language is in English? We just add one. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work for our other languages though. Oh yeah, I got I got a, a ice pack underneath my laptop today. That's helping a lot. And also, what's helping is that uh, Activity Monitor is reporting that Game Show is not eating up two CPUs worth of CPU today. So it's mostly Game Show is working. Sometimes Game Show just doesn't work and it just kills everything. Oh, oh, I got it. I think I know what it is. The English version. Oh, okay, so the English version, I think the end of the string says credits begin. Yeah, oh, there's like, there's basically an extra line at the end and then, and then credits begin in strings German. It's probably not going to have that. Right, okay, okay, I got it, man. I got this. So basically, if the end of the begin, 
If the end of the begin does not have a new line, then add a new line. Yeah, right. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, got this. So begin. Um, if begin, if of course not begin dot empty. And begin begin dot size minus one equals or is not equal to a new line. Then add one begin. There. And then that'll parse everything right. Okay, that's a pretty simple solution. Let's make sure it works. And then I'm getting some lunch, man. I'm freaking starving now. Look, we've got some burritos. Burrito, 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 yeah, burrito. Give me a burrito, uh. All right, what language is this? English, German. This is English. Okay, let's make sure English still works. Good, okay, the name start gold to the end. Yeah, the end gold. There's no problem with the alignment at the top. No problem with the alignment at the bottom. Nice. Okay, let's go to German. Here's the real test. Because of course that other one, uh, let's make sure, I, I wonder if I even coded it right. Uh, I hope I coded that right. I don't have any debugging going here, so let's just hope it works right. I probably should have just debugged right there. Verify this before. Good, okay, they start gold. Oh shit, I missed that, damn it. So it ended right. Okay, let's see one more time. Yes. Oh, that was it. That was definitely the problem. This looks beautiful now. Let's try a couple more languages just to make sure. Yes, that looks great. Okay, let's do something crazy like Japanese. Japanese and Chinese, they change everything. Everything everything about language is like all different. Yeah, this is all tiny. Hmm, good. This worked too. Go 
Very good. Okay. Anything is possible. That's how you say anything is possible in Japanese right there. All right, let's do one more language. Portuguese, Brazilian. How about? Wow. To the bomb. Unto a shall. Is that did I say that right? This is looking good too. That's looking good. No, that's not right. It's definitely not. Definitely not right. I know. I should just stick to English. The A sounds like an an. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, right, good. But hey, look, it works though. The bug is fixed in every language we just tested there. Puntuan Shao, is that right? Anyways, okay, so that bug is fixed. Let's um let's check that in, and then that's gonna be it for today's stream. That was a short fix, but it worked very beautifully. I love short fixes. Very minimal edits are very preferable. Yeah, that's Portuguese. Ah, oh, when it has the tilde. Okay. Oh, when the A has a tilde, it sounds like an an. Oh, un, an or un, an. I don't know. <laughs> I'm butchering it. Oh, okay, when it has the tilde. Oh, okay, I learned something today. Nice. All right. Well, hey, there's like three or four bug fixes there in one stream. Can you believe it? Wow. Oh, whoa. You use your nose to pronounce it? Mm. Tuta bomb? What does tuta bomb even mean? Does that mean kind of like it's all good? All good. Does tuta bomb mean all good? Is that right? And then there's tuta bomb and tuta bem, right? They're They're both they're both like expressions of hi, sort of, hello. Well, anyways, um, that's going to be it for today's stream. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Song Warriors coming out soon. A song at the end of the stream? Yeah, like play one? Sure, I'll do that for sure, man. Yeah, so take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time.